Hi friends, in this video we will see uh, some of the array methods concat, join and reduce methods. Okay, so let's take again variable array 1 comma 2 comma 3. Okay, I have another array, new array or otherwise or I say array 2 as hello and world okay so i have two arrays with array array and array 2 uh, let's take it as array 1 and array 2 okay so that it will be very easy array 1 array 2 so i want to join these two arrays and i need to form a new array so that means what we can do is where new array okay new array is equal to array 1 dot concat Okay, we will be using concat of array 2. Now let cons let's do the console.log array 1 and we will do the 3 arrays so that we will check whether the existing arrays is changed or not. So it remains unchanged or it's changed or not, we will check. Let's clear this one and if I click on run, sorry, it is new array, right? So we will take it as new array. Okay, now let's run and clear. Yeah, so now first array is uh, 1, 2, 3, it's printed, and the second array is hello world. Yeah, it's printed. So, when new array is nothing but what we can say is array 1 dot concat of array 2. That means so joining the two arrays 1, 2, 3, hello world is the new array. The other two arrays, which are the old arrays, is remain remains unchanged. Only we got the new array dot concat will returns a new array that is joined array of two arrays. Okay. Now this is the concat. So if you want to join any two arrays and to form a new array, you need to use concat. And now join, what is the join thing? So join is little bit different. So join what it will do is it will take array and it will give the string with a separator. So nothing but what we can say is join. I am joining the arrays. That means array one will be written as a string. So in between the each element, do you want any separator or anything? So let's take. let's take colon or anything so for example if i take colon so we let's let's check so array 1 array 2 and array new array if i clear this one and if i run again 1 2 3 hello world and the new array what we it has we can see it written it written a string with separator of each element so colon as a separator with element so if you want colon and space between each element so you can use one colon space for each element okay so this is the difference between concat and join now we will see another method known as reduce method so reduce method what it will do is so let's take array 1 is one thing and if i write array 1 dot reduce okay array 1 dot reduce of so it will take the anonymous function so anonymous function so anonymous function will have two arguments one is total okay total and another one is value I will tell explain you what is total and what is value and here what we will be written is written total into value just assume so now what I will try to do is I will try to where result I will store it to one variable and I will try to print the result if I try to print the result so if we check the output here we got 6 as output what is happening here reduce will return a new a number so a single value what it will do is it will take each value okay so whatever the things you want to do the manipulations you can manipulate and it will return the single value so that means so that accumulator will be stored in the total now first time the total value will be one okay in the second time each value will be having value as two and it will one one into two it will do do and it will return two as the 2 it will store in the total again it will take the 3 as a value and 3 into 2 it will make 6 and it will return to the result so if you get 3 6 here 6 is the output so reduce it will take each value and it will do the multiplication of every number so if i if i take it as plus here what will what it will print 1 plus 2 plus 3 so that is nothing but 6 only it will print okay so this is the reduce operate reduce function in the arrays so if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.